now I am moving into MMC K model, queuing model. So, here the change is uh, instead of uh, one server in the MM1 model, you have a uh, more than one servers C and you have a finite capacity that is capital K, capacity of the system. So, the array will follow the Poisson process, service is exponential, we have C identical servers, the capacity is a capital K and this is a scenario in which whenever the system size is less than C, it will be routed into the ideal server. If it is greater or equal to C, that means all the servers are busy, that means the customer has to wait. But if the system size is uh, full, that means uh, C customers are under service and K minus C customers are waiting in the queue for the service, then whoever comes it will be rejected, forced to leave the system. Therefore, you have a waiting as well as a blocking, because it is a finite capacity there is a blocking and uh, since uh, you have uh, always uh, we choose uh, um, k such that it is uh, k is always great or equal to c. If k is equal to c then it is a loss system. If k is greater than c then k minus c customers uh, maximum can wait in the system in the queue. Therefore, the underlying stochastic process here the stochastic process is again number of customers in the system at any time t. Therefore, this stochastic process is also going to be a continuous time Marco chain because of these assumptions uh, inter arrivals or exponential distribution service each service is each service by each server is exponentially distributed and all are independent and so on. So, with these assumptions, this stochastic process is a continuous time Marco chain and at any time only, only one forward or only one backward can the system can move. Therefore, it is going to be a birth death process also and the birth rates are lambda because it is an infinite source population. So, all the lambda n's are going to be lambda, whereas the death rates are state dependent that is going to be n times mu lies between 1 to c. From c to k onwards it is going to be c mu. So, I have not drawn the state transition diagram for m m c k, but you can visualize the way we have a m m 1 n and MMC model. So, the combination of that, that is going to be the state transition diagram. Since it is a finite capacity model, it is easy to get the steady state and the equilibrium solution. So, first you solve pi q is equal to 0, that means uh, you write pi n's in terms of pi naught and use a normalizing constant summation of pi a is equal to 1, using that you will get pi naught. So, I have not written here. So, use the normalizing constant as summation of pi a is equal to 1, get the pi naught, then substitute pi naught here, therefore, you will get pi n in terms of pi n completely. After that, you can get the all other average measures, the way I have uh, explained the mm one n and the mm c infinity, the combination of that. You can get the average number of customers in the system, average number of customers in the queue that is a n minus c times pi n, the combination, the summation goes from c to k and the average time spent in the system. Since it is a finite capacity, you have to find out the lambda effective, effective arrival rate that is 1 minus, it is a capacity is capital K, therefore 1 minus pi k and that is the probability that the system is not full. So, the effective arrival rate is lambda times 1 minus pi k, substitute here and get the average time spent in the system. And similarly, you can find out the average time spent in the q also using the Littles formula. Now, I am moving into the fourth simple Markovian queuing model. First, I started with the MMC infinity MM1 n then I did a MMCK and now I am going for capital K is equal to C that is loss system. It is not a queuing system, 
because we have a C service and the capacity of the system is also C. Example is you can think of a parking lot which has the some C parking lots and the cars coming into the system that is a if you make the assumption is enter arrival time is exponentially distributed and the car uh, spending time in each parking lot that is exponentially distributed, then the parking lot problem can be visualized as the MMC loss system. So, here we have a C identical servers, no waiting room. So, since it is a C capacity and a C waiting room, you can think of a self service with the capacity C that also you can visualize. So, the inter here the inter arrival times are exponentially distributed and the service by each server that is exponentially distributed with the parameter mu. Therefore, the system goes from 2 to 1, 1 to 0 and so on it is going to be a how many customers in the system and uh, completing their service. Therefore, the time is exponentially distributed with the sum of those parameters accordingly. Therefore, it is going to be 1 mu, 2 mu till c mu. Since it is a finite capacity and so on, it is a irreducible model positive recurrent. Therefore, the steady state probability exists, limiting probabilities also exist and that is same as the equilibrium probabilities also. Therefore, by using a p q is equal to 0 and a summation of p a is equal to 1, you can get the steady state or equilibrium probabilities that is p n. The p suffix c that is nothing but the probability that the system is full and that is same known as the Erlang b formula. So, this is also useful to design the system for a given uh, or what is the optimal c such a way that you can minimize the probability that the system is full for that you need this formula therefore, <coughs> to do the optimization problem over the c and here we denote a p suffix c that is a Erlang p formula. Whereas, Erlang c formula comes from the M M C K model for the loss system we will get the Erlang b formula. The fifth uh, model that is a M M infinity, it is not a queuing model because uh, the servers are infinite, unlimited servers in the system. Therefore, uh, the customer whoever enter, he will get the immediately service, the service will be started immediately. Whereas, the service time is exponentially distributed with the parameter mu by the each server, all the servers are identical, the number of servers are infinite here. Therefore, you will have a the underlying stochastic process for the system size that is a birth death process with the birth rates are lambda because the population is from the infinite source. The death rates are 1 mu, 2 mu and so on because the number of servers are infinite. So, the model which I have discussed in today's lecture all the five models are the underlying stochastic process is a birth death process. This is the simplest Markovian queuing models. We can get the steady state uh, distribution, use the same uh, theory of uh, birth death process. And if you observe this steady state uh, probabilities is of the same uh, Poisson, this of the form that is a probability mass function of a Poisson distribution. Therefore, you can conclude in a steady state a number of customers in the system that is Poisson distributed with the parameter lambda by mu, because the probability mass function for the pi n is the same as the probability mass function of exponentially distributed random variable with the parameter lambda by mu. 